Uh, well, Rob, many congratulations. First goal for you, you must be thrilled. Yeah, absolutely thrilled. Um, yeah, no, really delighted, happy. I mean, tops off with a really good away win as well, so yeah, it's massive. Um, a typical striker's goal as well, you manage yourself. Yeah, no, like you get in the right positions, you, you hope one drops you. I mean, but I've always been told, get in the box, get in the six yard box, like the danger zone, and hopefully some of the four today. It was a difficult first half, but that was the perfect way for the team to start the second half, wasn't it? Yeah, no, listen, it probably wasn't the best 90 minutes we've had yeah, um, as a team. It was a bit of a dogfight out there, but we dug in. Um, and we got the result in the end, which is the main thing. What did you improve on in the second half, do you think, to be able to get those goals and get the three points? Um, it's just up the intensity, really. I mean, we got around more first balls and more second balls, and um, yeah, made it. It was always a fight, but we kind of upped our fight from our side, and it made. I think we scored the goals at the right time. We scored just after half time, probably killed their momentum a little bit, and then they had a little spell again, and then we scored straight after. So the goals came at the right time in the second half, and after that, we defended really well. Um, got first balls, got second balls, and yeah, done really well, yeah. We know how you like to play as a team, flowing football. Mm. It can't be like that every week in this race for promotion. Did you show all your other rivals today that you can do the other part of the game too? Yeah, no, massively. I mean, we're, we're just taking it game by game as it comes. I mean, we're not really looking at what our rivals are doing, we're kind of looking at what we can do, what we can improve on and um, yeah, it's another three points in the right direction. Um, we know what, what our own targets are and we will we keep that between the team but yeah, it's just taking it game by game. Hopefully, yeah, yeah keep going. You're into the top three now, is that particularly significant with 10 to go? No, I mean, I haven't even checked the table so um, yeah, I mean, the higher up the better. So yeah, it's a positive but like I said, we've got Carlisle Tuesday and then we've got Hartlepool Friday. The games are coming thick and fast, so we need to be on it every single game because that can quickly turn. And for you personally, playing first team football, how have you found it yet? Yeah, no, I've absolutely loved it. It's a great club, great set of fans. All the boys have been amazing, coaching staff, everything. I've really, really enjoyed it um, every single day. I love coming in, really good environment. And yeah, it's perfect for a young player like me to have that exposure. And whilst you don't want anyone to get injured, you have made the most of Courtney Baker Richardson's absence, haven't you? Yeah, and obviously Courtney's been excellent this season, um, and it's unfortunate for him to miss this, and hopefully he'll be back by the end of the season. But like I said, the door closes for one and opens for another, and I've, I've, hopefully I've taken my chance. But it's now up to me to stay in the team, because uh, other boys are going to take my shirt. So. And you would have been desperate to get off the mark as well, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, no, I've been desperate to get off the mark. I think every striker wants to score goals, so like I said, however they come, it's always a positive. Just 24 behind Dom now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might not catch him this season. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe another year I can try and hit his numbers. But he's been incredible this season, and hopefully he's got he's got his own targets. I know he's not happy with the 24. He's got he wants more, and he's going to keep pushing himself. And uh, what is it like playing alongside him up front? Because obviously he's had such a phenomenal season. Mm. Or is it like being a strike partner? No, it's been good. I mean, obviously I've got a good relationship with Dom. He's a really good guy. So um, both work incredibly hard, and yeah, that little and little and big partnership is hopefully going to keep building over the next few weeks. You mentioned Carlisle, that is the next test coming. Mm. They've got a really good run of form. Yeah. It'll be another tough, long away trip. Yeah, no, I mean, every game in this league is tough, I think. Um, I haven't come in yet and had an easy game, so hopefully one of them will come soon, but I, I don't expect it to. But yeah, that's that's our main focus, is Carlisle away next. We've got three, three, three days to recover, so yeah, everyone's going to recover well and then we go again. And as you and all your teammates have touched on when we've asked you over the last couple of weeks, all you can concentrate on this moment in time is just keep doing what you're doing keep the momentum rolling yeah obviously people can talk about numbers towards the end of the season but ideally we're trying to win each game if, if we do that then the rest will take care of itself but like you say it's just game by game there's still so many games to go so many ups and downs so yeah we're fully ready for everything well done today Rob thank you thank you, you.